Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinite Division platform. Right now I'll be doing one such question that came in your JMN examination. This particular question came on 26 August 2021 and it came on shift 2. So let us see, th see this question first. The question says, the two thin coaxial ring each of radius A having charge plus Q and minus Q respectively are separated by a distance of S. So that means we have been given two rings which is coaxial whose that means whose axis are coaxial and they are separated by a distance and whose radius is also given to you which is A. This radius is also given to you which is A. It carries the charge of plus Q and it carries the charge of minus Q. Okay? And their center to center separation is S meter apart which is given to you. So the potential difference between the center of the two ring is so that means what is the potential difference between the, their centers suppose the potential at this point it at its center is VA so the potential let it be VB at the center of the second ring which carries the charge of uh, minus Q so you need to find out the value of VA minus VB so the difference in the potential that you need to find out okay it is quite easier because the potential at A is because of this ring as well as because of this ring. Okay, so the potential at this uh, uh, this uh, this point is V A, which is because of this ring, which carries a charge of plus Q, as well as this ring, which carries a charge of minus Q. These potential would be added up so that you can get the value of potential at A this a point so the potential because of this ring would be k q by a so this would be the potential and what about the potential because of this ring so the whole charge the whole charge minus q is distributed over its surface of the ring and it is at a distance of root of s square plus a square from the center so don't you think so what would be its potential at this point so the potential would be equal to plus of k minus q by perpendicular distance the distance uh, uh, from this point is it is root of s square plus a square so this is it so this is the potential because of minus q ring at point a okay so eventually you'll be getting as v a is k q by a plus no it would be equal to minus because this would come over here so you'll be getting as kq by root of a square plus a square so this is the potential at a because of both the rings so what is the potential at b so vb would be equal to the potential at vb is because of this ring as well as this ring so it would be equal to minus kq by a because of minus q ring the potential is this and what about this one so it is at a distance of again this distance is root of s square plus a square because the whole charge is at a separation of root of s square plus a square from this center okay so because of this ring the potential at this point vb is plus k q by root of s square plus a square this is it okay now you have to find out VA minus VB. So VA minus VB would be equal to VA minus VB. So it would be equal to twice of KQ by A and minus of 2KQ by root of A square plus A square. This we are getting as. Okay, VA minus VB, we come up, come up to this particular equation. Now you need to solve it and you'll get the value. So k is in k is nothing but k is nothing but one by apps four pi epsilon naught that we already know. Okay, well, uh, putting the value of k over here, what will be getting as? So it would be equal to q by two pi epsilon naught a minus q by two pi epsilon naught root of s square plus a square. That's this you are getting. So, if, if I take q by 2 pi epsilon naught 
what will be getting as 1 upon a minus 1 upon root of a square plus a square so our fourth option is the correct option that we are getting so it would be q by 2 pi epsilon naught by 1 by a minus root of 1 upon root of a square plus a square okay so our fourth option is the correct option that we can get i hope this question is clear to everyone thank you